everyone, this is Joey, aka CropKey98, and today I'm going to be playing Wendy Every Which Way, which is a Game Boy Color game, licensed by Nintendo, developed by WayForward, and we're going to play on normal, and it's going to be great. So here we are, starting level 1-1. One, one. There's supposed to be an intro there, but I skipped it because... I already put it at the beginning of the recording, because I just thought that'd be neat. Anywho, this is Wendy. She has a wand and can shoot magic. Our shot's a little weak right now because we don't have any stars. And here's a star! When you collect stars, your shot upgrades, and your stars are also your health. So don't get hit. Because then your wand will downgrade and you'll be sad. And these snails are just worth 50 points and they're kind of really easy to kill. So here we reach a wall. We can't jump over it. Oh, what is a girl to do but just crouch down and... Oh, gravity flip. That's right, the main mechanic of this game is flipping gravity. You can flip gravity in, in midair, or you could flip it from the ground. To change gravity, you just hold the direction you want to go in, and hit jump. So you can switch up and down. And here's this armor enemy. They can be kind of tricky just running around, but they're not that bad. They're not that bad. And already we reach the end of the level. Collect the green stones, win, it's all good, it's all good. And for our efforts we get a sage password, which, of course, this game has no saves so you gotta put in the password. Although you could probably just beat this game in one play session since, spoilers, it's really short, but it's fun, I think. Anywho, starting stage 1-2, your stars are reset at the beginning of every stage, so you always gotta go get new stars. And stage 1 is just a really, really simple affair, just letting you get your feet wet. Although if a game doesn't do that, that's kinda bad design, kinda. Uh, wait, is that snail? Also, when I was a kid, I always thought these statues were Mewtwo. They still kind of look like Mewtwo. And I thought these ones were... Winging Meowths. Still kind of do think that. I mean, I know they aren't, but... I can dream. Um, I don't know how well the shots are gonna pick up because they're the FPS and all. I hope that isn't a factor. But, eh, who knows. With four and five stars, you get a really good split shot, so... Well, not really. Is it a split shot, or is... I should just call it a three-way shot. It's pretty nice. Let's kill everything. Oh, and here's a new enemy. Here's a pig guy. We can't hit him. What what will we do? Maybe we can hit him from behind? No. What you gotta do? Flip around. You can abuse the crap out of him this way. You got points for it. Okay, I'm sorry. Just blast him when he's down and he'll die. Don't you feel bad, monster? Don't I feel bad myself, monster? And that's stage one, two done. And on to stage one, three. Ding. Oh, and here we are. Introduce spikes. 
And, of course, spikes hurt. The spikes are the really only difference I've noticed between normal and hard mode. In normal mode, you can just jump on spikes, you get hurt. All is said and done. In hard mode, spikes kill you instantly. They're kind of a pain. Especially in some of the more dangerous segments. Also, pigs don't even need gravity to help them fall down. Oh, and here's this thing. It will always fall towards the direction that you are not flipped to. <clears throat> they get pretty tricky with those kinds of things later, so... You gotta be on the lookout. Also, if he doesn't fall enough, he doesn't get hurt. Let's go get the star. Um... What's our talk about now? Nothing really interesting happening, I guess. It, it's just standard World 1 stuff, really. There's a maze. That's kind of nice. It's not really complicated. Go one direction, get a star. Go another, find the exit. Oh, whoops. Like I said, these guys are tricky. You can knock him into the spikes. It doesn't hurt him. So don't feel bad about knocking him into spikes. Oh, and here's a risky segment. But if you can do it, there's a nice reward. Three stars. And here we are at the end of stage one three. And begins the last level of world one, the bonus level. Wherein you fly around. Kinda nice. And you collect stars. And also, you can flip gravity, which makes stuff fall up. Doesn't make a whole lot of difference, but if you get ambushed by these things, then it might be helpful. I mean, I'm, I'm not, because I think I'm kind of good at this game. And again, this game is not a hard game, really. Like... It is not a hard game. Anywho, we'll be coming up on the exit and the end of World 1. The next stage is World 1 2. Not 1 2, 2 1. So, since I plan to do one video for every world, I'm going to end it off here. So, see you next time for Wendy's Stage 2. See ya.